Thousands of years ago, in 1987, the Throttlebots were introduced to the Transformers line, and one of them was Searchlight, and he was based on a Ford RS200 rally car, which had six searchlights mounted on it. And uh, flash forward to, I don't know, last year, I think, uh, Toy World came out with their Aurora, which is based on a Land Rover Discovery, and this is actually the knockoff version, which is uh, oversized, so he's a little bigger. Uh, but the problem with those ones is he didn't have any searchlights on him. So I've added some here. This is what he looks like in uh, alt mode. Um, now, don't mind these seams. This is just my bad uh, transformation skills. It's uh, It does actually close up a little nicer. This yellow is also my fault. I can't remember where that came from. Uh, I put a little logo on here. But yeah. Here he is with the searchlights added, and uh, here he is with his brother, the uh, KO Grind Rod, or the KO of Toy World's Grind Rod, rather, which is the oversized version of uh, Toy World's Grind Rod, and uh, which was actually an homage to the Throttlebot Roll Bar, and I think they look great together. Uh, this, I believe, is based on the uh, Jeep. CJ7, uh, which kind of reminds me of a Rubicon, which I really like. I'd never buy a Jeep, but uh, yeah, I think it looks cool. So that's how they look together. I think it looks better with the searchlights, even though I didn't really do a fantastic job. So here is our KO Aurora searchlight homage with now with searchlights. And how did I do this? Well. I had to find something to make the lights, of course, so this, I was going for just the the G1 look, which I think is sort of supposed to look like a rally car. Now what I used was um, one of these uh, cat lasers that you can get at uh, probably the dollar store or um, well, I knew any pet section, and you can just unscrew the uh, the ends of this. So. I don't know where I found four of these, but somehow I had them. So those are just the caps off of the ends of these uh, this pet laser. And it just happened to be a good shape. You can use whatever you can find, really. So, um, yeah, I got four of those, and uh, then I used a file to give it a bit of a flat surface to adhere to. I filed down just uh, one edge of each one of these so that it could sit there without rolling away. And then I used my best friend's cyanoacrylate glue, or CA glue. Um, I got mine from hobbylink.com, as you can see here. And uh, this is the, uh, the thick version, uh, which I like. It's, I find it much easier to work with. So, using that, just glued these down. Um, it's safest to just do one at a time, and uh, which is what I've done there. Now, the problem I had, as you can see, I don't want really to have a good, uh, consistent color in these lights. Um, I was trying to fill it. At first I used Elmer's school glue because that's worked for me in other projects, but it didn't really fill. It just seemed to sort of uh, harden against the sides. Oh, by the way, these ones, uh, the little aperture for the laser, there's a hole there, so I just put a piece of scotch tape on the back of each one just to keep it from running out. And uh, again, I used the uh, the CA glue to, to fill this when the um, when the Elmer's didn't work on this one. So the CA gave me a little nicer result. And then, of course, I wanted to have it some color, uh, which, you know, usually they're yellow. And for that, I used the uh, Mr. Hobby Clear Yellow Paint. And, uh, yeah, that worked quite nicely. So now he's got his four searchlights. And um, I'm trying to get a picture of this in uh, vehicle mode as well. And I think it looks a lot better now. Like that, much more like the G1. And, um, now the KO version of this guy has a blue visor, um, so I, I actually took the head apart and painted that with a solid um, tester's yellow to make him a, a yellow visor, so, which unfortunately means I've lost the light piping. Um, if you have the original Toy World version, he does have a light piped yellow visor, so nothing to worry about. Now for that version, I don't know what would work for these lights because of course you're going to have a smaller scale. This KO is oversized. Um, but if you uh, have any ideas, please leave them in the comments below. I hope that helps.